Hi, my name is Dawn Prohovnik, and I write books for kids, and I teach people how to use American Sign Language to communicate with babies and children. And one of the things I wanted to talk about today was how much fun it is to incorporate sign language just into your regular playtime with your baby or your young child. What I encourage you to do is think about what games and activities you already play with your baby, and then think about how you can incorporate sign language into that. Find something that already has some built-in repetition peekaboo or patty cake, maybe blowing bubbles with your baby, or what we're going to model here, which is playing a bouncing game. So you have your baby, and you might have your baby on your lap, and you could say, bouncy, 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 bounce, 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 stop. And then you engage with your baby. Who wants more bounces? Who wants more bounces? Baby wants more bounces. <gasps> bouncy, 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 bounce, 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 stop. Do you want more bounces? I want more bounces. The idea is that you're using the same communication that you are with your baby if you're not signing, but you're incorporating that sign language. Now your child could be on your lap, your child could be standing up, maybe you have your child resting on your lap, laying down. You're engaging with the child in the same natural way that you would without signing. You're just adding some signs to that communication. Now one of my favorite games to play with babies and young children is hide and find. And really you you only need one sign for that, and that's the sign for where. Now, where is your index finger? It points up and it wiggles around like it's looking for something. I always picture two little eyeballs drawn in right here on the tip of my finger, and I think of it as a periscope on a submarine coming on, coming out and looking for something, searching. So that's a sign for where. And you can take something like an object of interest, maybe a ball, and you can cover it up. And the idea is not to win this game, the idea is to have fun and to play this game. So we're going to hide it in a very obvious way and we're going to sing, where is the ball, where is the ball, hi ho the dairy -o. let's find the ball. Now even if I didn't know the sign, for ball, I can play that same game just using the sign for where. But as my vocabulary grows, maybe I've learned the sign for book, I can play that same game by taking a book, hiding it under my blanket or maybe putting it behind my back and I can sing, where is the book, where is the book? Hi ho the dairy -o. let's find the book. And that can be a really fun way just to in introduce the story time activity that you're going to share with your child and it builds that repetition and that expectation that when we sing that fun song, we're going to be reading a story together. Now the sign for where, I call that a power sign, you can use that just about anywhere. Let's say you're at the grocery store, you're waiting in line at the grocery store, you've jingle jangled your keys, about as long as you can to keep your child entertained and you think, oh, I know the sign for where, let's start searching in the grocery cart for the different objects and items that we've purchased. So you might say, where is an apple? And we could pull out the apple. Or where is a carrot? And we could pull that out. Maybe we're at the doctor's office and we're waiting and we see that there's another baby waiting with their family. So we could say, where is the baby? Or if we're out on a walk with our child and we see a cat sitting on a porch, where is the cat? Or sometimes you'll see it, where is the cat? Just one-handed. So the idea is you're having those same playful interactions with your child that you would enjoy even if you didn't use sign language and you're just incorporating a few signs into those interactions. What I encourage you to do is think about what games you play, what signs your child might be interested in learning and start with something simple like where and have fun searching and playing with sign language together. Yay!